Hey guys, David here from Googoodoo55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to back up to a network drive with Apple's Time Machine in Mac OS X. Okay, so let's get started. So there are several ways of doing this, but I'm going to be showing you the way that actually worked for me. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a disk image that we're going to put on the network drive, which Time Machine will use as its drive, and it will back up to this disk image that is on the network drive. So I'm using Mac OS X 10.8, but this should work in older versions also that support Time Machine. Okay, so basically what we're going to have to go ahead and do is we're going to have to go ahead and create the disk image. So go ahead and open up Disk Utility. Now I'm doing it from Launchpad here, but it should also be in the Applications folder. And once Disk Utility is open, you need to click New Image. You could just save it to your desktop right now and type in a name for the new image. So I'm just going to type in Mac Mini Backup. Okay, also type in the name down here. So, whoops. Mac Mini Backup and you're going to want to change the size so just hit the size, hit custom, change this to gigabytes or terabytes if you want it to be huge. Now you can specify the number of gigabytes here that you want the disk image to be. Keep in mind that your network drive should be able to hold this amount because if it can't this isn't going to work properly. So my network drive is a roughly 250 gigabytes, so I'm going to leave 150 gigabytes for Time Machine. I recommend making the size quite big because Time Machine backups can be pretty big. Next, you want to go down to encryption, choose 128 bit, and change the image format to sparse bundle disk image. Now it's going to ask you for a password for the image. I don't really know why it does this because in my experience I haven't had to use a password later. But just make a password. And now it should create the disk image. Okay so once it's done you can actually go ahead and close disk utility. Now you should see the image on your desktop. What we need to do is we actually need to move that over to our network drive. So to do this I'm going to hit go. I'm going to click on network. Now, before we do that, you need to scroll down and under devices, you should see that the image is actually mounted. You need to unmount it. Once you've gone ahead and unmounted it, you could choose your network drive. Now, I'm using a Samba file server as my network drive here. So basically, go to a directory where you want to store the disk image and just basically drag it from your desktop into that directory. Now this part could take a while depending on your network and computer speed, so just be patient. Okay, so once it has finished copying, you actually need to go ahead and mount the disk image that you just copied over to your network drive. So you could do this by double clicking on it, and you should see it mounted under devices. Now for this to work properly, this disk image always has to be mounted. Okay, we're done on our network drive, so we can go ahead and close that finder window. And you can go ahead and delete the disk image off of your desktop. Just make sure that you don't delete it from the network drive. Okay, now we need to tell Time Machine to actually use that disk to make backups to. So we're going to do this by opening up a terminal. Again, I'm doing this through Launchpad, but it should be in your Applications folder. And you're going to need to type in sudo space tmutil space set destination space slash volumes slash and then the name of your disk image so mine was mac mini backup once you've typed that all in just hit enter and it's going to ask you for your password type in your password and you can close the terminal window okay so now we could go into system preferences go to time machine and you can see that the disk image that we made is being used. If it's not, you can also click select disk and it should be in here. So we could go ahead and turn Time Machine on and we're able to back up to that disk image on the network drive as if it was an actual drive that's connected to the computer. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my website at gogoodoo55techtutorials.com. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. All the links are in the description below.